so mard uh, now we are going to take and uh, this is a professional course because employment oriented course okay uh, you know psc and uh, kerala administrative service and uh, many other you know uh, this thing this will be very very helpful all type of you know entrance examination this type of things will be very very useful so one or two uh, thing which i want to highlight is that uh, first of all this pg drd as well as mard there are you know some topics are similar so carefully listen to this okay because uh, students are committing mistake okay? learner sorry committing mistake see mar now i will talk the first year because second year later on okay this is the first year syllabus compulsory that is mrd 101 102 103 1 uh, then 004 and dissertation means project work and project work of course i am going to tell that you uh, you are not uh, reading this actually you have to read the course material dissertation without that you will because you know this also 12 credits are the other things subjects only six so project where you have to complete and this is the first year now uh, let me talk about uh, pg drd pg drd because second year i am not going to talk now because you know not required actually you know not not now if any doubt is there, you can always ask me now pg drd post graduate diploma in rural development some courses are common first year i will not talk with second year now okay first year pg drd and mrd mrd that is mrd mrd is the program mrd is the course okay mrd 10102 that is the course and mrd master of rural development uh, that is the program now see these are common to this uh, mrd 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 and pg drd mrd 101 common pg drd and mrd mrd 102 is common and mrd 103 is also common and uh, you know so this three things now i will not uh, take uh, you know other things now mrd 101 is we are going to take apo 101 102 103 okay there are some other things common that i will talk later on these are common to pg drd as well as mrd that is mrd so to, we are we will be discussing about one mrd 101 which is common to both post graduate degree as well as post graduate diploma okay this is one point second year i will talk later on that elective subjects and other thing because we no need to talk now you know okay now <clears throat> if uh, one important aspect which i want to highlight is that uh, there are many many you know instances that uh, before taking the class i want to uh, you know bring to your kind uh, you know uh, information that they are you know every all paper you are clearing so many people you know first year clearing second year clearing and afterwards what happens they will not get the certificate because you have to give the project report otherwise it they will show in the this thing not completed so many students are there now so many thing people are undergoing you know i am the project gate they are just they will pass on you know passing out all exams and other thing you will not get the certificate because when you pass so for example mrd 101 you suppose you got a 80 mark 80 uh, you know mrd 102 that mark so then dissertation not completed everything should be completed then only degree certificate will be there so our learners are not reading the students manual see for example i am having properly with the result of which they are many people they have not uh, uh, you know they don't know whether uh, uh, you know they to do the project report or not 
So many people approach me, sir, we have passed, passed out and afterwards, you know, we are not getting and uh, we, we were not knowing that project work is there. So project work is also, the, and not only dual credit is there. So please keep in mind, this is one. Now, another thing is that uh, so far, you know, after COVID, we, we are uh, uh, conducting the, you know, uh, this thing, uh, you know, uh, online classes. Before that, also we were doing that, but due to COVID, then we stopped. So I request uh, all the you know learners. You are all very senior people. I understand that you have to uh, at least you know one group is there already. In that you know everybody actually you know who is the admin. You know you put your this thing also number because so many instruction guidelines everything we can uh, you know uh, give in that. You can also give, I can, but only academic in nature. The group, which is very useful, exam related matters. Uh, what is that academic related matters? And uh, you know, so many other things, you know, where, which is the last date of submission, so and so, so and so, examination form, everything. Uh, like that, you know. So PGDRD, MARD, you kindly, one admin, one, I think you have already created and uh, uh, we will, you know, keep on, you know, uh, informing the developments. And for more details, you can see the website also. You can website also. You, you will get all information. But this is must that uh, because sometimes we are conducting online classes, everything. So individual has to go. No. So in the group, uh, we have to just click and we have to post it. So immediately you can you will get the information. So this is one group. That is one. Now another aspect is that because before taking the class, just in, just uh, one group. Then uh, another important thing, the media. I am talking in English because this is all in the level, uh, level telecast. Uh, this thing, this is recorded this class. So I have to speak either in Hindi or in English because there are learners who are from other Navy, Air Force, all these people. So I cannot talk in Malayalam because learners are there from even even yesterday also some people were standing in front near to meet me. They are from Navy. So I can speak only either English or Hindi. That is the media of uh, medium of language. About assignment. I will do one thing the group. Uh, assignment how you have to write. You know the guidelines uh, myself and Dr. Prema even Dr. Prema, who is our coordinator, regional office, uh, we, she's the head, and she made, uh, you know, certain guidelines, actually, you know, uh, for how to, uh, you know, go during, when you are submitting the assignment, how you have to do that. Like that, you know, general guidelines are there that we will put in your group. See, very, very useful guidelines. Eh? Please uh, keep in mind, because one incident I will just tell you, See, it is with me. It is with me. MRD 101. Kindly keep in mind this. These guidelines, which I, I was talking, we have made out based on the inputs we received while evaluating assignments of our learners during the past so many years. We found certain laguna. You are all very qualified and experienced. But we found certain things. One incident I will tell you. Say, one question. This is MRD 101. First question is 40 marks. 40 marks. Any, any one out of three topic you have to write. But mark is 40 out of 100. This is a question paper. Any one out of three. So one topic. So... 40 marks in the assignment, somebody has written only one page. Now you tell me how much mark we will give. 40 marks, one page we have written. So my submission is that according to the mark allotted, like that you have to write the assignment. 40 means minimum some 8 to 10 pages you have to write. Okay, one page you take a five, a five mark, then also eight, no? 
8 or 9 page of theater, then only you will get 40, 40 marks or 38 marks or whatever is there. One page, if you write, you will get only 5 marks or for the war mark, how you are writing and all these things. Then, another aspect is that, this is one point. So, according to marks allotted against the question, you have to write. The general guideline, I will forward, I will submit in the, I will forward to in, in your group. That you can see, accordingly you write. Another point is that, uh, these are all, you know, while evaluating the assignment. You have to write in the assignment, you have to write your name clearly. Don't do any artwork. Because we have seen that enrollment number, we don't know whether it is 5, whether it is 6, whether it is 8. And the name also we cannot read even. So without reading, how he we will give the mark sheet in the mark uh, you know sheet is there uh, how much mark we to give that you know at least name and the enrollment number is clearly disagreed so i request everybody that your name should be written in capital without any your artwork whatsoever whether you are you know uh, great in writing or whatever is there we are not concerned with that we are concerned with your correct name that spelling as well as the enrollment number in that when you're writing man don't write like this like this like this in artwork or something like that because that enrollment number again that mark is going so this is going to delhi also we are we have to update from here so correct name in capital letters because many people i have seen many many i have seen that you know everything they will write in the enrollment number you overwriting as well as name also so we cannot uh, understand what the name is what the enrollment number is like that confusion but sometimes you know you have to put your mo uh, mobile number or something in the assignment when you are writing uh, that the column this thing is there in that address and the mobile number so that if any doubt is there we can uh, cross check with uh, you people okay we're not binding on us but even though sometimes you know i used to ask them what is your name what is your enrollment number all these things so clearly careful that you know that capital letters letter you know even your name enrollment number clearly without any art work though you are a very good artist or whatever not in the while writing name and because we have to read and we have to re, uh, uh, write in the report that again this gentleman this is the mark Okay, so this is the thing which I want to tell you. So, mark according to math, you write. Now, there are 40. Though I told you 8 to 10 pages, you write. Then 15. Again, 3, 4 pages, you write. Next question, next medium. That is, you know, 15 marks, you write like that. You know, 3, at least 3, three minimum, you write. Because 5 marks, 1 page or something like that. 1 page, don't think condense, we will see that. Condense, okay. The other thing, short answers, six mark. You write uh, even uh, two pages also or one and a half pages also. Not one page. You, you will not get six mark. But then I have to write like that. Content, if it is like that, then we will give six mark. But some some people have one, one line like this and second line in the middle like that. They are writing like that. Then another aspect is that use good pen, 10 rupees pen. And you know, People are using this, uh, many other type of, you know, sketch pen and so many, you know, uh, blow, you know, some backside also it is reflecting and many other. 10 rupees, one pen, good pen, you have to write. You have to put uh, your number, question number properly. Each question number, number is there, whatever you are writing, that number also you have to write properly. Okay. And other things, you know, the guidelines you will you read and uh, you will understand. Okay, group I already told you assignment. Then there are five block. Uh, you know, MRD one zero one. There are five blocks and twenty one units in this book number one. Okay, there are twenty one units. Okay, then uh, I told you the, carefully. See. Public Service Commission. Suppose 
if you are applying for village assistant village officer professional officer tahsildar kerala administrative service or so many other uh, competitive examination rural development is a must now i will tell you the history because today introduction introductory part i will be taking it little more uh, some time because i can take only up to 3:30 i have already scheduled 3:40 there is another channel classes then again for you 5:30 to 7:30 other classes are there there are three classes simultaneously i have to take okay so uh, now here uh, so these are all competitive examination ah, now here what i am telling earlier uh, we were not giving that much importance for earlier earlier many years back rural de development was a, a small department under the agriculture ministry or something like that now it is a full fledged ministry because local cell government the panchayat raj system came you know the all amendment everything that we will talk later on and now the full fledged system is there in every state so definitely rural department ministry has to play a vital role because democracy because union level state level local level local level is block uh, district panchayat and uh, block panchayat and grama panchayat okay so full fledged rural development ministry that is there and uh, all this hierarchy is there everything is there and every state it is called a self uh, local self government and uh, every state it is there and we are giving lot of importance for the rural development okay now project i already told you more details later on i will tell you if any help is required you can always you know but only i would request you time and tide wait for none either everybody has got 24 hours time is an equal opportunity leader uh, is a ruler everybody has 24 hours only whether it is mukesh ambani whether it is somebody else whether it is prime minister or chief minister or ordinary people like us all are having 24 hours how to utilize that time the their lives your time management effective time and their capacity time and the tide wait for none malayalathile kadalile tirumalayum samayum aarkum edikkadirikkilla time is running backward you will think that 12 12 1 12 10 5 15 12 15 no no what a time you now it is 1 hour 54 minutes 24 second you will not get this time this time at any time in in your life so one minute whatever now you are losing that is lost forever so our duty is to utilize that time effectively and uh, you know whatever our goal is the small goal or big goal whatever is the, that we have to fulfill so uh, though you are working i think some of them are working perhaps i am not asking the self introduction or something i know that many people people are working because due to shortage of time you know i have to cover maximum and uh, working but reserve some time for learning also uh, because this will help you to grow further but on maybe you are occupying higher post or whatever is there whatever qualification you are having at present is not sufficient to meet the future challenges don't think that i am ma along i am llb or phd or whatever is there okay you are phd or you are m phil when when you took that out of the complete the world has changed the economic condition has changed all over the world lot of things are happening in the world the covid situation came and lot of you know uh, recession and unemployment uh, many things are there so what i am telling we we want to climb the ladder we have to update our knowledge and skill 
and step by step you have to grow okay step by step you have to grow and with adequate knowledge for shouldering any higher responsibility you should have the proper skill there is a skill shortage all over the country don't think that you know the, uh, i am having I, no required skill that is shortage i am not telling that you are not having or not that B because there is a skill workers and always job they are easily they are getting but there is a shortage also sometimes in you know, certain jobs you know uh, skilled labors are not available also so you had what i am telling unless you upgrade your knowledge and skill it will be difficult to shoulder higher responsibilities one not thing you no know, i have passed 20 years back uh, this examination or no 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 nothing modern world is a world of specialization okay so many things are happening you have to uh, you know you should know and another aspect which i want to highlight that read the newspapers and uh, editorial page forget about politics or whatever is there we are not concerned with that we are concerned with our life we are concerned of uh, concerned with our you know future and uh, for that when you work wherever you are and adequate knowledge is required for that reading you should know what is going on either in the country or in the district or in the state or in the world it is a prerequisite how to get the uh, knowledge the knowledge is by reading books editorial paper uh, you know pages newspaper nadakil you know center page editorial pages and a lot of things are coming uh, about the constitution judgment or many other thing law related matters many things are coming so you can you know uh, you will get a lot of knowledge out of it okay and uh, don't waste more time in social media like the tv you will not gain any get any information from this i used to see only news 8 o'clock or something like that i, I don't i never used to waste time because only wasting time because nothing we can learn always you know i used to concentrate where we can gain lot of knowledge whether it is a you know from the student also i am learning unless you know and learning is a continuous process till end of our life so go on reading and improving your knowledge as well then not, then another thing is there suppose if you get a job if you are already working a job you know i think you no know, see what have been for getting another job for that higher qualification is required so you have to anticipate and get the degree and like that like that going on or go and uh, otherwise you know what happen unless you have the and uh, one more thing which i want to highlight that in uh, our people are getting so many degrees and diplomas or whatever is there okay so before starting this i just want to tell you uh, this type of thing you when you are studying some subject or whatever is there you are getting some diplomas or post graduate diploma or a degree or whatever is there don't think that why i have studied this what is the use of this no 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 sometime you don't know when this will help you so try to uh, you know pass out the whatever qualification or this thing and keep the degree with you if it is not to, if it is not uh, today tomorrow this will help you i already told now what is what is compulsory course that is in second year optional subject ah, the first year is compulsory all this eh? that you know all the subject and uh, we offer master rural development also post graduate diploma also the, that also pg drd also project work is there okay pg drd also project work is there then in the project you know they are giving grade uh, project work a, a grade b grade c grade d grade e grade a is excellent b for very good uh, c for good d for satisfactory e for unsatisfactory a for excellent a project work and very good b good c satisfactory d unsatisfactory e you should not get e or c and those who have undergone in under me they used to get a plus okay now 
like that okay if uh, something else is there later on uh, ah, then when you are writing assignment you should not reproduce as it is for the textbook create to this thing should be you have to write your own also and uh, don't go to the website as it is don't reproduce in the you know assignment people are having ha you know habit that whenever something google you know whatever you are not uh, whatever you are getting from the google is not sometimes reliable anything anybody can write whether it is authenticated but now this text is issued by indira gandhi open university this is a printed document nothing can be wrong okay if something goes wrong igno is responsible same way set printed books and uh, what are information you are getting from the journal printed uh, all the thing more valuable than access to google and other yeah okay, the google you will get uh, some guidelines and whatever i am not telling like that but fully depend uh, you know you should not fully depend upon this google and whatever is because information see when you do if you want an information you will get a uh, information from america what are you going to do the information of america see suppose you know law matter american law is different our law is different okay so many things are the like this so uh, while writing assignment as it is you should not reproduce and google also you have to create your own and not only that indira gandhi open university this is descriptive examination so nowadays writing habit is not there so writing habit also should be uh, there because you know uh, you are uh, uh, how you are writing in all this thing accordingly they are they are giving the marks okay so let me go to the mrd101 i hope uh, some information i gave and some other you know all uh, guidelines and other thing i will just uh, you know when you create a group uh, group uh, in that i will post it pgdrd and the mrd okay whatever if you have got any doubt any time you can contact me also okay and dr prema who is the coordinator also now we let let us go to mrd 101 rural development in the context okay now one book number one rural society and economy rural society for economy so uh, kindly keep in mind a dream whatever you know civil service or whatever is the job you know everybody you know is, they are having their own vision but for fulfilling that achieving that dream your dream does not become reality through magical take such you know where can you know determination and hard work is very very essential endu anta adu parayana nanu cha one more thing indira gandhi open university course material is very very nice and up, up to date adla course you know material is there okay so what i am telling what are information you are getting is the very very recent or current uh, knowledge which is which will help you during your competitive examination so follow three mantras three d's d d d d for delhi discipline dedication devotion whatever job loyalty or whatever devotion whatever because you know many things are there in our life you know so there should be a vision and you should uh, always you know think positive and positive attitude should be the you will achieve it nothing to worry about that so now see when we are discussing about uh, rural development mahatma gandhi nammada rashtrapitav endana parayana india lies in villages village lana nammada aalukalde manasaiya ningalku ariya village inde siri chele samayath paridhavagaramaya chele villages undu adayathu ഇരുപത് ഞാനൊന്ന് ഇൻട്രഡക്ഷൻ തരട്ടതിൻ്റെ ഇതിനെ കഴിഞ്ഞിട്ട് പെട്ടെന്ന് പോവാം കേട്ടോ കഴിഞ്ഞ ഇരുപത് കൊല്ലത്തിനുള്ളിൽ കഴിഞ്ഞ ഇരുപത് കൊല്ലത്തിനുള്ളിൽ ഏകദേശം നാൽപ്പത് നാല് ലക്ഷത്തോളം ഫാർമേഴ്സാണ് ഇത് വെറും കമ്മിയാണ് കേട്ടോ സൂയിസൈഡ് ചെയ്തിരുന്നത് നമ്മുടെ ഇന്ത്യയിൽ അതായത് അറിയുള്ള റീസൺ ചിലപ്പോൾ മഴ അതേമാതിരി മഴ ഇല്ലായ്മ ചില കൊടു ഇപ്പം കണ്ടില്ലേ ഈ കാറ്റ് അതേമാതിരി മരങ്ങൾ ഇതെല്ലാം വീണ് വാഴകൾ വീണ് ഇപ്പോൾ റീസെൻ്റ് കണ്ടു തൃശ്ശൂർ നേന്ത്ര വാഴ എല്ലാം പോയി എല്ലാം കർഷകർ ദുരിതത്തിലാണ് 
ഈ റൂറൽ ഡെവലപ്മെന്റ് പറഞ്ഞാൽ അവർക്ക് പല കാര്യങ്ങളും നമ്മൾ ചെയ്തു കൊടുക്കേണ്ടതായിട്ടുണ്ട് അപ്പൊ ഇന്ത്യൻ അഗ്രികൾച്ചറൽ ഇൻപുട്സ് മാർക്കറ്റ് ചെയ്ത് ഇൻക്രീസിംഗ്ലി ഡീ റെഗുലറൈസ്ഡ് ഇന്ത്യൻ അഗ്രികൾച്ചറൽ ഇൻപുട്സ് മാർക്കറ്റ് ഈസ് ഇൻക്രീസിംഗ്ലി ഡീ റെഗുലറൈസ് അപ്പൊ ഇവിടെ ഏതൊരു ചെറിയ പോയിന്റ് ആണ് പറഞ്ഞത് ഇന്ത്യ ഡെമോഗ്രാഫിക് ചേഞ്ച് ട്രാൻസ്ഫോം ഈസ് റൂറൽ എക്കോണമി എല്ലായിടത്തും ഒരേ മാതിരി അല്ല എക്കോണമി അത് വരും വരും പറയാം അപ്പൊ നിങ്ങൾക്ക് മനസ്സിലാവും എന്താണെന്ന് നോ അതേമാതിരി കാറൽ മാർക്സ് യുനോ സി പി എം കമ്മ്യൂണിസ്റ്റ് സിദ്ധാന്തം യുനോ പോപ്പുലറൈസ് ദ ഐഡിയ ഓഫ് വില്ലേജ് സെൽഫ് സഫിഷ്യൻസി ഇന്ത്യ കനോട്ട് ഡെവലപ്പ് അൺലെസ് അവർ വില്ലേജസ് ആർ ഡെവലപ്പ് നിങ്ങൾ എന്ത് പ്ലെയിൻ കൊണ്ടുവന്നാലും ശരി വേറെ എന്തെങ്കിലും നാഷണൽ ഹൈവേ കൊണ്ടുവന്നാലും ശരി റിസർവ് സോ മെനി അതർ തിങ്സ് യുനോ ബട്ട് വില്ലേജസ് അൺലെസ് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ദ ലിവിങ് കണ്ടീഷൻ ഈസ് not good you cannot say that it is a developed country trains and plane or airports and you know other see basic amenities required for the uh, ordinary people it is required they are like they are either 60 to 70% people are living in villages in india okay so they are basic you know amenities uh that we to improve government of india is doing a lot of things and state government is also doing a lot of things okay so another thing is that you know this india has got yana or general aite parayana 138 uh, uh, 140 eduthu no crore population is endana parnar why i am telling all this thing lot of precaution we to take india because we are going to beat china within very few years and we will become the largest populated country in the world by beating china a basic thing requirement is that shelter health education everything is required you know for them when population is increasing you know many other states you know population ratio that of course it is coming later on it is increasing like anything and government of india or state government has to provide facilities like providing shelter education health everything you know that is also there now 138 crores above that it is there okay seven main language uh, religion is there in india why i am telling india is you know we give equal uh, you know this thing for all type of religion or caste or whatever is there okay so say seven main religion are, religions are there then 22 language officially sorry 22 constitutionally approved languages are there but there are many 122 other languages many many other languages are there some language there is no alphabet also libi okay then 33 lakh square kilometer land is there in india 33 lakh square kilometer land but you know 28 states and 9 union territories but we have got a diversity i am just telling you surrounded by sea by three side and uh, yes great uh, himalayan range in north okay then bordering many 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 countries like pakistan bangladesh Myanmar and many other things and uh, but we are having one constitution one constitution so if this 138 crore people we are supposed to follow that is the supreme law of the land framed by our you know great personalities like dr b r ambedkar father of indian constitution so uh, that is the supreme law of the country okay now 70% of our population lives in villages you know sometimes it will go up and down now out of total indian population 48% are female 48% below 18 years 30% below 80 below 18 years then 38% of indian population cannot even read or write അപ്പൊ എന്താ ചെയ്യണ്ടേ ഇമ്പ്രൂവ് എഡ്യൂക്കേഷണൽ സ്റ്റാൻഡേർഡ് ദാറ്റ്സ് ഓൾ 
state government, uh, every state government union territory, they have to take precaution for this to remove the illiteracy. Okay, then poverty is there. You cannot that India is self sufficient. A lot of pro poverty exists in many, 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 many states. That, of course, table is coming later on in another unit. Now, there are government of India, that is union government, you know that state government is there, that I told you, there is the structure, union government, state government, district, Alange Zilla Parishat, urban, rural, urban and urban municipality, or Nagar Panjayat, and under the uh, urban, it is municipal corporation also. In rural, Villa Parishat and Block Panjayat and Gram Panjayat, under Gram Panjayat, Gram Sabha is there in Gram Sabha, President is there, Secretary is there, all are elected. And in many states, you know, seats are reserved for, 50, in Kerala, 50% of the seats are reserved for female. Okay? Uh, in, in the Panjayat Raj system. Okay. This is the thing. Now, uh, okay. Panjayat Raj, okay. Now, 2001 census, 72.22% Indian lives in, uh, you know, 6 lakh 38,691 villages. All right. 2001 census, every 10 years census are taken. And at that time, around 7 lakh villages are there. At that time, 2001. Then, in 1901 census, 89.2 percent lives in villages. But 1961, 82.3 percent lives in villages. Okay. Declining trend in village. Now population is moving to urban areas. But in rural, no employment. There is no rain sometimes. Or flood. Then after harvest and everything, what they are, only six months job is there. After six months, what they will do, how they will survive, they are going to nearby town. So there is a migration from rural to urban area. Then rural democracy, I already told you this panjayat and other thing. Democracy is handled by the panjayat raj and block panjayat and other things, you know. Uh, it is functioning. We, we can say that, you know, uh, we are, you know, uh, down level also. There is democracy, we can say. But it is to be improved further. It, because uh, so the allocation which uh, state government is making or central government their funds and everything properly utilized and uh, they have to uh, develop the particular area rural areas also which is not forthcoming in you know i have seen many 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 things you know that uh, <coughs> the improvement sometimes there are many areas you know it is developed but some area it is not, not developed so panjayat raj system they have to play a vital role Rural democracy, uh, democracy, the rural social economic census. In uh, then the same way, uh, you know, this is how many villages in each every state. You forget about that; it is there already in the. How many villages are there in the state? Okay, Orissa, Nagaland, Sikkim, and other. Now, grey villages. Just listen, grey villages. In the grey villages, what is grey villages? See what happened. Large population of old people you know sometimes they will go abroad and other things you know for in search of a job then they will come back and they will invest their you know earned whatever they earned money and they will start a, you know some small you know some uh, enterprises or whatever is there in the respective states okay so the exact word is the large population of old people whose children are away at one time, many of the old people also were away working in foreign land. And after that, 
sufficient you know wealth after acquiring sufficient wealth they are you know either they are retired or they are coming back and they are starting some uh, commercial commercial uh, you know form uh, this uh, firms now here i want to tell you that I, okay now what is grey village are to affluent villages affluent village means prosperous villages punjab you cannot see a beggar in punjab begging very prosperous hard working whether it is male or female hard working people patriotic people okay so not that others are not patriotic i never said that but uh, they are rich because the agriculture one more thing which i want to tell you in central pool haryana punjab and haryana is contributing more the wheat the rice or any other items you know uh, you know they are even during the terrorist time also punjab was contributing number one in a state in the country and they were giving and that wheat is coming to other states we are eating okay so hard working people and government is supporting farmers all help free electricity and many other things many 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 years ago also and ladies are also working very hard and uh, supporting the family like that so they are affluent uh, uh, you know affluent villages now here there are extremely poor villages also okay chatisgarh jharkhand orissa you know sometime forced to sell their children to liquor vendors and uh, or other vendors for getting money and uh, purchasing for their survival you know they are selling their children there are certain areas in india for money because they cannot survive so they are just selling their children also that is also happening now fringe villages in you know, the what is fringe villages fringe villages means you know those who are bordering the you know great cities like delhi so so for example you know uh, uh, bombay you know thana like that you know near to uh, you know city so at that time, what happened no their culture everything the help so all type of help they will get ghaziabad gurgaon faridabad they are near to delhi so like that about that villages also they can sell their products easily because nearby very big city is there so what are they producing they can sell it and they will get very good uh, you know remuneration also later on okay that is the thing so village uh, okay uh, there are many other kanpur kohima all these things it is like that only now rural society means small uh, you know uh, this thing is there very very uh, rural population very uh, small society it is very small population sometime and uh, you know like that uh, you know uh, languages and the community service and the craft some people are involved in uh, artisans uh, craft uh, the, some people are specialist carpenter everything you know they are specialist and some people okay and uh, mahatma gandhi told india lives in villages you know so you know fundamental value of indian society and civilization are uh, preserved in villages indian culture everything you know it is preserved in villages because you know they are very innocent people and you know the traditional approach and you know they they are living comfortably and uh, you know uh, civilization are preserved in villages one cannot have an idea about the spirit of india unless her villages are you know uh, you know i told you, you know unless the villages are improved or developed then there are tribes there are farmers then agrarian society agriculture society is there and in the, in the population 
67.8 million Shadu tribes are there. 67.8 million ESTs are there, constituting about 8.8 percent of the India's population. Then Orissa has got the largest number of scheduled tribes. Okay, under Article 342. They have got a lot of privileges also, a lot of uh, some, you know, uh, concession, reservation, everything we are giving. And tribal societies are there, but basically they are uh, farm workers, you know, uh, many, many things, you know. Uh, then their culture, everything, some people, you know, uh, not small artisans and other things. Tribes are isolated, I believe, you know. It is away from the, you know, major city or whatever is there. So they are being isolated. You know, you take the example of Attapadi in Kerala. You know, there is no hospital nearby and there is no bridge. There is no uh, item to, uh, if they want to purchase something, they have to come to the city. There is no bridge, river overflowing, uh, like that, you know, a lot of problems are there. So uh, they are away. Then um, the tribal, uh, now, now so many uh, facilities are now extended actually. Then um, Tribals are associated with hunting, food gathering. In shifting, they are sometimes shifting cultivation also. Then horticulture, so they are just finding you know, where they can get more money. Okay, then uh, this type of things are there. Okay. Now, character of villages. Now it is, let me come to your book. Character of your now, I told you about the population of this uh, uh, villages and other thing. The, now, I am not repeating that. Then, uh, demography. That is, demography means statistical study of life in human connection. Okay. Human community, sorry. Other than demography. And uh, what rural society assumes a considerable significant, uh, uh, you know, significant in any form of discussion in development. Rural development, I told you, you know. Uh, they should be the uh, proper development should uh, take place. Then village in lot of diversity is there. Affluent villages are there. Poor villages are there. Grey villages are there. Homogenic, they are similar. This thing is there. Demography, I already told you. Population also. Some villages population is more. Some population is less. Then rural society, village, countryside, folk society, rural. Society, you can see that some area, you know, village, some in America and other places, you know, countryside, UK also, folk society, that also sometimes they are, you know, telling that, you know, some villages and they are giving their own names and actually. Now, uh, spirit of India, and that of course I already told, one cannot have an idea about the spirit of India unless her villages are understood. But here I just want to tell you, government is allocating a lot of funds, as central government as well as state government, they are allocating a lot of funds for the rural development. But if that money has to reach the needy people, that they have to ensure. For product, follow-up action, everything is required actually. Okay. Now, tribes and peasants. Uh, already I told you, 67.8 million scheduled tribes. See, there are some states, there is no SC. There are some states, there are STs. There are some states, both SC and STs there. In Kerala, SC is there, ST is there. Punjab, only SC is there. Tribura, STs are there. Many, yeah? SC is not there, like that, you know. But now, I don't know, a later position. Okay. So, you have to understand that there are some states where there is no ST. There are some states where there is no Yes, see, there are some, there are states where both of them are available. That is the peculiar things. Uh, our uh, that is called India is a different, you know, whatever we are seeing, you cannot see anywhere in the world. Okay, because we are lucky that uh, with this diversity, we are all living together, and with all so many religions, so many castes, and so many, you know, even though we are one. Okay. Because constitution is applicable to each and everybody. Equality is there. Okay. Then.
See, these villages, farmers, 50 percent, they are farmers. Of course, they are having a lot of problems also. In tribe also, 50 percent are farmers actually. They are doing the cultivation or honey collection or whatever is there. And uh, rural and urban society difference in the relationship. That you know, rural and urban. Rural means villages, urban means town. You see, in town, what is the problem, you know? Uh, rural, it is easy to get house. In urban area, it is very difficult to get house and you have to pay more. Expenditures is, is for food items also more in urban area. Because, you know, though you are getting good salary in urban area, but you have to spend a huge amount for getting an accommodation as well as uh, whatever is there, okay? Now, characteristic of village. Villages are principally food producing, food producing units. And not only those who produce on a commercial basis, on a mass scale, with the basic objective of multiplying their gain. That, you know, many, many agricultural products they are, they are having. Banana, many other things, you know, rice production or many other villages, you know. Then characteristic city, characteristic of cities. See what happened. City, in contrast, were societies, urban societies, characterized by, uh, you know, uh, you know, what they are telling that large, you know, density of population is more in cities. Density of population, villages. Proper environment is there. Drinking water, drinking proper drinking water is there, pure drinking water, and so many other things are, and innocent people. But in urban area, you can see all mix of this, you know, and uh, environment also, you know very well. And uh, what really happened nowadays here in Brahmapuram plant and other things, you know, uh, environment issue again and again, they are, you know, catching fire under whatever is there, and we are expressing our inability to control okay so urban area these type of problems are also there and getting accommodation in cities like bombay mumbai people are living under the bridge near to the railway track they don't have any basic facilities other things, you know, I don't want to tell. Very difficult, to, you know, they don't have house and, uh, you know, uh, in, some, in search of job, they are going to city so that they can earn money and uh, live comfortably, which is not available in the rural area or village. So some sort of, see, we are all going abroad also, you know, why? I think average 12,000 people are, students are going from Kerala outside for study purpose or something like that okay so why so they will study they will earn money also that is the thing you know so if it is available here people will not go no that is also the so characteristic cities we are all moving from one place to another here also people you know go to bangalore Coimbatore, chennai all these places for study they are thinking that if they go they can speak English fluently, they will get job easily. Can I tell one thing? It is not correct. Wherever you are, whatever you are, if you are sincere in your approach, if it is not today, you will get job by way of your hard work. If you are going to cities like uh, Madras or whatever is there, you know, they will you will get a job. No, there is no doubt about it. There is no. But similar, you know, other expenditure is also there. When you get, take your family and other thing, you know, accommodation, everything, lot of several lakhs you have to spend. That is also there. Okay. So, but uh, one thing is there. Uh, many people for, you know, they are earning money and other thing. They are leaving either the state or the country. You'll be surprised. It has been reported in the parliament that 
in the past few years, 12 lakhs Indians, you know, cancelled their, you know, visa, the Indian citizenship to a lakh during the past few years. It was reported in the parliament, actually. Maybe they, are, they have got jobs somewhere else or we don't know, they have settled down in many other countries. Okay. Now, migration from villages to urban area is, it is there already, you know. If it is, you know, from one place, because in villages, always job is not available. We have poor conditions sometimes. Road facilities, you know, if somebody is sick, they have to carry on their shoulder and go to primary health center. It is also there. So, people will see the facilities available because children's education, good education, English medium school or water medium school, they will see where is available in a good way. Our doctors are ready to work in a rural area, primary health center, not in town. People, doctors are not willing to go there or in certain areas. That is also the... So, Good doctors are not available in uh, this thing, good hospitals actually, in primary. Then how the villages, uh, village people will get uh, treatment, tell me. And whether they can afford or spending huge amount for going to specialist hospital. So, you have to keep in mind this type of thing. Okay. Now, little and great tradition. See, our villages, community, community, we had got a great tradition. See, in Kerala, Onam, Tamil Nadu, Pongal, Ugadi, Maharashtra, or some other place, sorry, Budipadava in Maharashtra, Ugadi in Andhra Pradesh, like Dibavali in North India, these are all, you know, our traditional, this thing, and we are uh, always, you know, uh, they we want wherever we are, we are celebrating Onam, you know. Same way Christmas we are celebrating. Jelly cut in Tamil Nadu, which was prohibited by the Supreme Court, people were not ready to obey the court order. Because I'm not telling that they were doing any kind of this thing against the court judgment, but it is their traditional this thing. Jelly cut. So these are all. So great tradition of each and every village, it is there. And uh, the community characteristic and small. Sometimes, you know, community will be small also. Sometimes big also. It is also there. Now, characteristic of little and great tradition. Now, the tradition of little community is known as little tradition. If small, very few people are there, then, of course, it is little community tradition is also little to small villages now same way in tradition of the you know uh, unlettered that is uh, you know inhabiting a particular area as i sometimes you know some people are coming from various parts of the country or some other areas and they are inhabiting in you know, a certain area you know particular area so that is also the then who are uh, you know Yes, unreflective. Then tradition is cultivated on in home. See, our tradition starts from our home only, you know. All because our parents will say that this is our tradition, everything we have to maintain our tradition properly, all these things, you know. So so is transmitted from one person one generation to other in you know, still we are all, you know, uh, transmitting. One, tradi one generation to another generation, our culture, isn't it? Our own culture, we want to preserve it. So, then the tradition of the literary, uh, see, known as the great tradition. Great tradition means it is the tradition of the lettered people, uh, educated people, okay, who are few in numbers. They are reflective. They think about the tradition make it, you know, sophisticated, systematic, and uh, thus making a universal, this thing. You know, then traditional is cultivated, tradition is cultivated also, 
in uh, separate and distinct institution tradition and uh, okay uh, mosque church you know tradition suppose if you go to temple you are moving your chapel and going if you are going to uh, church you are following the principle if you are going to some mosque you are tradition you, do, you are following isn't it so it is transmitted uh, as a part of the uh, specialized rigorous and long see but rigorous in the word okay so chale samayath rigorous aayittu nammal follow cheyandi varum le for example endu kuttangal varnalum ipo nammala chale mosque le chalpa streegalukku praveshanam avaru anumadikkunnilla avarenne chalpa nammal take the example of guru ayur temple some other other uh, religion they are not allowing sometimes okay so everybody has got their own tradition every even church also it is like church alone no? their tradition their tradition mosque their tradition so we have to respect each and everybody see we don't uh, find out uh, find fault with uh, anybody else you know so tradition is uh, their own tradition and uh, that we have to follow then critical assessment critical assessment means you know here uh, in village see here what i am telling what is assessment what follow up action we are taking in spite of having lot of shortages in the villages so for example the electricity uninterrupted supply of water uninterrupted supply of electricity welfare schemes rural electrification education and many 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 other employment and oriented uh, this thing sometimes we are lacking and uh, you know we have to take care of this type of things to then only our uh, uh you know rural area can be developed see one thing is the now road connectivity i will tell you when i was going to the college you know in 60s at that time from my house one road was the narrow road connecting main road which is some half kilometer away and this, this is and what i am talking from 50 55 years ago back now even after this 55 or 60 or whatever is a year i had not see a any type of improvement not the same road is available though panjayat granted many many time panjayat granted money money where it has gone nobody knows and about you know 50 years back whatever the road small road was there, and so many people are residing and still that road like that only i am telling the development has to take place not by political speech another aspect which i want to tell you again when i was in the college one small boy everybody you know in our panchayat put water connection the pipe you know near the road you know 1 km 2 km 3 3 km like that you know pipe connection never in my life i have seen a single drop of water which is coming through that pipe several crores of rupees they spent lakhs of rupees spent this is rural i my experience i am telling you another one more thing i am just telling you kerala's one major irrigation i am talking about the villages one uh, kanyirappura from malambra nearby mannarkad you know the scheme was there a big irrigation this thing and they just you know spend crores of rupees at that time and uh, and they just you know made the canal and other thing i didn't sing, see a single drop of water which was coming through that canal to our villages 
okay when rainy season everywhere water will be there that water also will go to that canal and at that time we can see some water but during summer or anything no water is available so we have to study this type of things and we have to improve upon our village condition that's what i'm telling and respective we whichever party whichever person whichever president or whatever is there or you know ruling or whatever is there you have to keep in mind this type of things why we are migrating to other people city people are you know after uh, plus two everything people are going to bangalore and why the there are many re some reasons you know so we have to find out this and why our people are going abroad and uh, another thing which i want to highlight villages our towns and other things without application of mind sometimes now we have set up not that you know, it is bad or something like that now i am asking one question to you in many states including kerala they set up iit palagad iim kodikkot one example i am just telling you anybody pass out from iim kodi code or ahmedabad or hyderabad is rendering service to the state you take the example kodi code i am not telling about others any iim kodi code person is working here immediately placement opportunities are coming they are going abroad iit palagad so m tech or b tech what we are what was anybody working in iit have you ever heard that i am also from that area and uh, anybody i am from iit palakkad and doing job here why whether we have given land everything for you know making this institution so when we are setting up this type of institution we have to explore the possibility of finding job opportunities for this type of qualified people otherwise wastage of time we are having this type of bad where the state is benefited out of it people are studying no problem at all they are passing out definitely they are getting very good placement no problem at all but what are their contribution to the prospective state i am asking you this an iit delhi bombay all at that time four iits were there you know that uh, well, let me find uh, tell you one thing that uh, now i am telling for getting admission in iit is another thing how many people are there from the rural area because coaching is required lot of money is required everything is required only rich people or you know middle class people are getting even rural people are not uh, getting opportunity to go to maybe some people and telling like that because proper coaching is also required actually for uh, clearing the entrance exams and other things okay no types of villages india has got many types of villages some villages are small 26.5 percent small small big little big like that you know population basis villages small villages and other things then uh, you know uh, dispersed village okay now another thing is that some villages are ruled by some you know close connection of you know uh, some 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 rich person or you know be uh, they are behaving like a king <laughs> in their gra uh, gram panchayat or whatever they are the president they whatever they they will give punishment they will that is you know village panchayat not this panchayat they will call they will declare whatever uh, you know this type of power they are these people are having because basically this group of people are they are rich basically kingship groups and uh, yes uh, then our uh, coastal areas there are also some tradition is there you know that coastal area some tradition is there because they are living because they are getting selling getting or selling fish so they are innocent honest people okay so they are they have got their own tradition everywhere you can see in maharashtra gova kerala many other kutch all these places they have got their own traditions 
okay now here what i want to tell you is that kinds of society tribal i already told folk uh, villages okay urban society i already told you and more details of course another unit it is coming where then affluent uh, villages then grey villages i told okay then you know rural society means you know those who are living in rural area and basically they are producing for uh, they, they are you know for their survival they are producing and they are selling excess uh, this thing also to somebody else agriculture in the main stay other uh, rural area agriculture is the main thing actually then tribal tribal society this term is used for a small society smaller than the typical agricultural based society it is largely isolated from other societies and the centers of civilization then urban society it is characterized you know this interchangeably from village to this thing much larger area urban is see you take the example of kanpu or kambatu or some you know many other cities like bangalore mysore and all these things larger population larger facilities and other things is available there then great tradition great tradition one tradition i told you no tradition so many things you know little tradition small tradition okay that is not written you have to do like this you have to do like that nothing is written okay see in haryana one village you know the one caste can do the marriage from that caste only in some some villages otherwise the panchayat panchayat mean you know as a you know group of people they are they will declare what they to do and punishment everything they will just excite you know go or tell them to go outside the village and many other punishment they are giving actually so uh, about that type of tradition is also there then fringe village as i already told you and uh, okay then uh, this is the thing which i want to tell you now unit number 2 unit number 2 rural democracy demography sorry rural demography the demography of a statistical study of population population see or every you know this uh, village uh, you know their population is different each and every village you cannot see you know similar villages you know it is not like that even in state also in parliamentary constituency some constituency uh, several lakhs of people are there but some constituency very few people are there okay it is a so dem, uh, rural democracy de, uh, sorry demography demography mean statistical study of population kerala has got you know the density of population number one okay now here in unit two we are uh, rural demography we are going to discuss many things that is age composition sex composition marital status composition fertility ella rural ana all this thing connected with the rural then mortality infant mortality jananam kutigalada janam after birth you know they are dying and due to various reasons and other thing and demography and development population development then size of rural settlements where they are setting down all this thing we are going to discuss now the basic objective of the development is to improve the quality of life improve the quality of life what is what is quality of life quality of life q w l quality of life okay endana q w l that is you know providing you know job security that is job enrichment that is further improvement career growth open community increase employee participation flexible work timing idaga in factory il thana varunathu and rewards whenever you do the job you should get the reward also the quality work life le what you have to keep in mind that competency development your skill development that is competency development job satisfaction ah oh, you are getting the job are you satisfied if you are not satisfied then sometime what why the lack of satisfaction coming you know 
under employment you know the under employment because if you are highly qualified but you are getting a small post so satisfaction will be there so job satisfaction is playing a wider role because you have to go to that factory or office eight hours you have to do the job without proper mind and a, you know positive attitude what are you going to do that so in order to make the people happy the based on the qualification or merit whatever is the the position has to be given so that they will be happy a happy worker can produce better okay so we have to see the job satisfaction of the people because unsatisfied worker will do more harm to an organization then job security let me talk about this is there any job security now it is previously state government and central government they were having you know regular uh, employment uh, this thing you know the what is that a lot of uh, you know uh, job security was there now they are taking contractual basis contract any time they can be terminated also one year contract two year contract so where is the job security even you know when suppose for some marriage proposal or something where are you working can you say that i am a say, state government employee unless you are regularized for regular employment if it is only one year and uh, whether it will be extended or not that is the government decision because what they are telling this type of small job through employment exchange only they are providing you know what is the rule employment exchange this period or only limited period they can give employment if it is regular public service commission has to be done so like that that uh, this type of things are there so job security is very very essential so especially one aspect which i want to mention here is that uh, ladies uh, sometimes they prefer you know the government service because all the leave is available and you know work pressure that much is not the like the pri private or it firm the task is not that much i am telling you they are all type of facilities they are government facility they are get, getting yeah others are getting i am others also getting i am not telling like that so a maternity benefit and many other things you know pension gratuity everything government you know they are getting but in private you know at the discretion of the private management okay so job, job security is very very essential but but in english is a gay, dangerous word but regular employment recruitment sometimes you know now they uh, sometimes uh, they are delaying because due to various reasons there are fund shortage or uh, structural reforms and many other things you know regular so job security plays a wider role so that you know uh, because they are um, having a guarantee that up to 58 years or 60 years i can work Well, job security told. Then another aspect is health and well-being. You should maintain proper health, well-being. A sound, you know, mind is required for doing a job, tension-free. Okay. Then work and non-work life. You are busy in the office. you should not carry the files to home also children will be there wife will be there and you will convert that house also into office if uh, children is asking something and you will not give the reply also <laughs> that type of things also so that should not be there so work and non life the work life balance also to maintain and health and well being and job security job satisfaction competency development this is qwl aba qwl means providing job security job enrichment career growth plans open communication and increase employee participation when you are working in an office then you know uh, employer has to seek the participation of the workers also while taking major decisions 
then only the work is participation in management so whenever they will take a decision before taking a vital decision it has to be, it has to be discussed with the concerned people even or work union or whatever is there then flexible work timing see now you take the example of it it flexible work timing is there sometimes you can sit in the house and you can do the job or morning or even you are going and coming late that a flexible time is there okay and uh, work timing so especially you can see the uh, it sector this type of thing then another aspect is that rewards and recognition when you do the job the you know at least the motivation whoever it is you know your boss or whatever is there yes you had done a good job don't give money or something like that at least you know the concerned officer they should appreciate the work done by you and another thing whatever achievement the company is making or the, the department is making and the credit should not be taken by the concerned officer or head of the department the credit will go to the subordinate as well if he is a good leader if he's a good leader whenever he gets award and uh, you know so many other recognition he will share those recognition with his subordinates a good leader has to share you know not that you know i got it i got it you cannot do anything without the support of others yes you take the example of com uh, army commander can he do, do do any job without uh, the support of the soldier can you can whether he can win any war uh, without the support of our uh, uh, soldiers actually so this type of thing we have to keep in mind so motivation aspect is also required rewards and recognition it is also recognition see at least we have done a good job the recognition many times once sometime you know the some certificate or some cash incentive and many other things you know they, this will motivate these people to work more and more which will help directly for the growth of the organization okay this is the introduction of the work another aspect is census census generally it is taken by the central government in 10 years 10 years okay as a, you know in each state how much population and caste religion everything now recently you know bihar also if they started every 10 years they are doing that because it's a very very hectic job actually okay ministry of home affairs they are doing that okay then um, of course they are interesting the job to somebody and the demographic database census and in the census how many male and how many female that you can see population and uh, you know that also then civil register there is director general is also the one I position actually civil registration system is the how to register then sample registration system is the, the SRS sample registration system sample survey when they are just you know taking the feedback from the citizen uh, if government wants to implement any you know uh, this thing they will make survey see for example when uh, election commissioner chief election I mean, previously when he introduced the photo, that identity card or whatever is the election identity card, certain, you know, feedback was taken from the citizen, you know. So, uh, some inputs they collected and uh, afterwards, slowly, slowly they implemented. Now, size and growth and the distribution of rural population. Our rural population, 1981 and 190, this is based on census. You know, total population, rural population, or percentage of rural population. See, out of population, how many people are living in the rural area and how many people are living in the urban area. So, this is size, growth and distribution of rural population. So, here, census, see, 1901, 1911, 1921, look, see, 10 years, 10 years, 10 years. 1901, 1911, 21, 31, again 51, 61, 71, 81, 91, 2001. See, 10 years. So here they took the total population out of that total population in each and every state, including the union territories of India. Okay. You know that uh, 28 states are there. Uh, 
you know this uh, nine union territories uh, union territories under central government actually uh, lieutenant governor is the he is the head like our governor in the respective states he is appointed by the president of india with the recommendation of the prime minister okay now there are union territory please remember union territory and uh, you know um, that is you know centrally administered let's say the andamani gobar all this then that population also so some states you know density of population is more in rural it is more or urban it is more so that get category the statistics they have given in the book please see the figures okay another thing is that uh, growth of rural population 9 uh, 10 years in uh, what are the rural population d uh, variations uh, how much it is there earlier what was the population now it is the population whether it is diminishing or going up or whatever is there uh, please remember one thing the uh, you know the we are certain state they have strictly introduced uh, the you know this uh, what is that percentage of birth and other things you know it is downward actually sometimes and only one child or two child but some states you know it is a little more so the population in the state uh, in the respective villages also sometimes it may go down or help even go up also in certain states some slow growth is there very slow growth is there in the rural population certain states steady growth is there certain states rapid high growth is there then certain states high growth and you know with you know definite signs of slow, slowing down see sometimes from rural area people are migrating to other places this is another city now here they have given state wise growth rate of uh, rural the population in your book you can see i have not read this you know out of the eight states are the, what is the population rural everything in 1991 uh, 1980 uh, 2000 uh, 2001 and 1991 2021 you know the what is the you know variations you know previously what it was uh, how much population rural population we were having and now this states uh, uh, how much they are having so they have written nagaland lakshadweep and other thing many union territory goa tamil nadu adhya pradesh jammu kashmir uttaranchal everything they are given and the picture is given density of population so then another thing density of population kerala number 1 in the country that you know uh, you know that uh, 3 crores uh, some you know 3.5 or whatever is there you know 3 and half crores people are there but it is more than that actually okay uh, density population too much in kerala and uh, statistics they have given density of rural population also they have given see 1991 yes too much that also rural population also kerala are, uh, really you know it is number 1 in the country rural population also density and otherwise also density of population kerala is having why i am t- talking about kerala please understand this thing uh, as regard the ratio between the female or male again kerala is having more female than you know male that is also perhaps number one in the country okay other of course lot of improvement is there but about that uh, ratio i will de- tell you later on so here i am talking about the rural population and uh, you know um, ranking okay so kerala rank number 1 in the density of rural population now another thing great thing you have to uh, keep in mind this sex composition of rural population please keep in mind this this also very very na- kerala ranks number 1 that is total out of 1058 people okay in rural uh you know this uh, urban also kerala ranks number 1 in the country you know female and uh, this thing also you know as compared to male and here state wise 
സ്ത്രീകളെ ഏറ്റവും കൂടുതലുള്ള സ്റ്റേറ്റ് കേരളമാണ് പക്ഷേ ഇവിടെ ചില കാര്യങ്ങളുണ്ട് അത് വൈ ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ദ ഡിഫറൻസ് ദാറ്റ് ആൾസ് ടെൽ യു ദേ ഹ് ഗിവൺ സി നെഗ്ലക്ട് ഓഫ് ദ അതർ സ്റ്റേറ്റ് വൈ ദർ ലാക്കിങ് യു നോ വി ആർ നോട്ട് ബ്ലെയിമിങ് എനി സ്റ്റേറ്റ് ഓർ എനിങ് ദർ ആർ സെർട്ടൺ ഗ്രൗണ്ട്സ് സി സം സ്റ്റേറ്റ് ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻറ്റ് റീസൺ ഫോർ ദി ഡിക്ലൈങ് യു നോ യു നോ ദി പെർസെൻറ്റേജ് ഓഫ് male that versus uh, female is neglect of the girl child resulting in their higher mortality you know yes of younger ages and high maternal mortality sex selective female abortion all this thing female uh, yes അതായത് ഇവര് ആൺകുട്ടി പെൺകുട്ടിയാണെന്ന് വെച്ചാൽ പെൺകുട്ടിയാണെന്ന് വെച്ചാൽ അങ്ങനെ വേണ്ടാന്ന് നോക്കി അങ്ങനെ കുറെ കാലം ഉണ്ടായിരുന്നു മറ്റുള്ള സ്റ്റേറ്റിൽ ഓക്കെ ഇപ്പൊ കുറെ മാറ്റങ്ങൾ വന്നിട്ടുണ്ട് അപ്പൊ അതുകൊണ്ട് സ്ത്രീ യുനോ ഫീമെയിൽ യുനോ ദിസ് തിങ് സം സ്റ്റേറ്റ് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് യുനോ ഇറ്റ് ഹസ് കം ഡൗൺ ആക്ച്വലി ബട്ട് ലോട്ട് ഓഫ് ഇമ്പ്രൂവ്മെന്റ് നോ ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ദ പീപ്പിൾ റിയലൈസ് ദാറ്റ് സി വൺസ് ബിക്കോസ് ഐ ഹാവ് വിറ്റ്നസ് ദാറ്റ് people were girls students in you know, they were not allowed to go to the colleges and other thing sometimes sometimes some stay i don't want to tell because this is a recorded this thing and uh, what they are telling the parents were telling why you are going to school college or something like that afterwards you will get married and you know what are the benefit we are going to get out of it no 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 it is not like that see we have we have to give equal preference for boy and girl and you know whatever is there you know Uh, and now a lot of improvement is there so certain states uh, they are lagging behind and the girl child they are not uh, encouraging you know they to grow or whatever is there and that type of, that is the reason why it has come, come down and of course nowadays this is the past history i am just telling you but now if you see the latest census of course the improvement will be there government of india uh you know respective state government is also taking adequate precaution they are making awareness in the colleges and other thing and education also and, and not only that no girls education also it has gone up like anything and now another aspect which i want to highlight here is that um, in uh, state union territory like uh, chandigarh for girls separate colleges or women colleges are there exclusively reserved we here Uh, in Coimbatore also I have seen many universities there, autonomous universities exclusively reserved for girls. So, colleges are there and free education in Chandigarh. Free education, no fee. In each and every sector I have seen government colleges are the free education provided to girl students. Okay. Uh, so, it is a good, nice step adopted by the, uh, that is central government actually, controlled by central government, union territory. so it is going up like and what i want to convey to you is that as regard education the highest education city wise chandigarh remains number one not say i am not I'm talking about the state because of this type of things and government support central government or whatever is there you know their support or uk union territory administration they are taking a lot of precaution and uh, you know they are giving uh, you know the you know we are helping the students uh, without any fee they are studying every sector colleges are the girls college different and high uh, one more thing which i want to tell you not for name sake colleges able, able you know the teaching ability of the good uh, t- uh, lecturers and uh, you know very 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 infrastructure facilities and hostel facility everything number 1 not that the name say you know we have got a college center no 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 very good uh, colleges and high percent have you seen the civil service examination other thing and engineering colleges and engineering this thing also people are coming from that area too much you know people are there in the, their name okay now like that you know all states they are developing they are growing they are participating in the democratic process of the country and uh, educated citizen uh you know they are required for the nation building activities okay so government is doing their level best okay 
now another aspect child sex ratio female uh, maid again kerala number 1 958 964 in 2001 500 950 not that i am telling you kerala is number no but this should be encouraged that in the children also sex ratio male and female that many states of a lot of improvement is there other states also a lot of people are there near to kerala it is um, um, of course many other states are also there uh, even pondicherry even uh, Tamil Nadu and many other states are there. Chandigarh, okay, Delhi, 900, nine, so like that. The It has gone considerably improved, actually. Child sex ratio. Adilam, uh, you know, a lot of improvement is there. Punjab and Haryana registered a child sex ratio below 900 in their rural area. Rural area, le? certain parts of the country, it is happening because of the thing. And another aspect is that age composition, 8 to 14 age, it was 32.7 percentage in uh, rural area. In uh, 2003, it was 33.2. And in the age group of 15 to 64, 62.6. In the rural area in 2002 and 43 sorry 63.0 in 2003 and 65 and above in 2002 it was 4.7 and 2003 it was 4.8 this you can see the table it is not necessary to tell i have got now only four minutes and of course evening i will continue now you kindly tell me that uh, in the project report if you have got any doubt because only four rem uh, uh, minutes remaining because i got other class also but i will continue after five thirty kindly ask me anybody about the project report you have got any doubt because madam dr prema was telling she's the uh, senior coordinator of our regional office uh, uh, academic uh, this thing uh, all these things she is controlling your uh, all you know study center so she was also telling and please remember first year dissertation is there many people come they are committing mistakes that they are ignoring that they are clearing the examination that is not sufficient unless you submit the dissertation also finally you will not get the degree certificate so first year itself dissertation is there if any type of help is required, I am ready to render any help. Okay. But please remember the MARD students, at least synopsis eight pages and 120 uh, this uh, detailed project report required. That is the average required actually because this is master's degree. No, 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 no uh, concession at all. Master degree. See, don't compare this university with any other university. Okay. Because academic is very strong, actually. You can see the study materials and other things. Okay. Now, one thing. Another thing is that uh, even postgraduate diploma, 80 to 90 at least, 80, 80 pages you get, uh, project report. And synopsis, 8 pages. 8 to master degree, 8 to uh, 10 pages minimum. This type of things are required. And project guide is required. If any help is required, always you can. Whenever I am free, I will help you. There is no problem at all. But remember, the dissertation first year, it is there. Many, many people, they committed error that they cleared all the examination. They didn't get any certificate. They are asking us. And because they forgot, they don't know such things are there. First of all, read the guidelines issued by the Indira Gandhi Open University. Go to their website if you are having any doubt. There is manual learners, you know, students manual, whatever is there. Go through that. And uh, regarding submission of assignments, you know, that uh, definitely I will forward in the website, this thing, you know, group uh, the guidelines also so that you will get more mark. 
kindly remember one thing that uh, according to mass allotted against each question you have to write 40 mass means not one page okay like that you know 20 mark is there accordingly i told you how much you have to write all these things very neatly and another thing which i want to the guidelines of course i will give you write your name and enrollment number clearly capital letters your name because it will go because they have to update upload everything it will go to delhi these type of things are there okay thank you very much for your kind participation